here with a book outlet book haul. If you guys don't know, I live super duper close to the warehouse, so I'm able to just drive on uh, down there. And there was recently a $2 scratch and dent sale. So me and my mom took a little road trip and we got a couple books. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first book that I have, Lovely Like Laura, will be very proud of me. It is After by Anna Todd. I honestly don't know that much about it, but I was like, movie coming out. Everybody has been talking about this book. A lot of people hate it very, very much. So I want to see which side I fall under. Apparently the boy is very like possessive or something and it's like a super unhealthy relationship. We're gonna read it and hopefully we like it. We might hate it. Maybe you'll get a rant review out of it. You guys usually like my rant reviews, so win-win either way. The next book I have is called Dreamland and this is by Robert L. Anderson and I've picked this up because I thought that the concept seemed kind of similar to The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Otter, which I absolutely love that book. But it's basically about this girl who ever since she was six she was able to walk through dreams. Apparently there are three rules to every dream walk that you do and you're not supposed to break these rules. They are never interfere, never be seen, and never walk the same person's dream more than once and the main character has never broken that rule until now. So it's that story. I'm intrigued. I'm excited. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna love it. Hopefully we'll see. The next book I picked up is The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Wasserman and I don't really know that much about it other than it said murder and murder is one of my buzzwords. I will buy any book about serial killers, mental illness, or murder. Stabby stabby murder murder. Apparently it's about this girl whose boyfriend is a murderer who killed her best friend, something like that, but she doesn't believe that that's true, so she tries to prove his innocence and like follows the trail of blood. Interesting, intrigued, we gonna read it, hopefully we like it, we will see. The next book that I have is Burning by Danielle Rowling, and don't know that much about this, but it said it was a horror book. Your girl like herself some horror, so. It was compared to The Merciless, which I personally loved the merciless so i was definitely intrigued by it when i found that out so hopefully it's similar to the merciless and like somebody gets possessed because we like possession stories they're cool the next book i have is the last harvest by kim leggett and it follows this boy who found his father like almost dead on the barn floor and apparently he was insane and he feels that he is also going insane years later and it's like his story about people thinking he's going insane and like being scared of him and him like wanting to kill people and all that jazz and you know we love stabby stabby murder murder books so we're hoping somebody gets murdered the next book i picked up was like purely nostalgia but it is rl stein's fear street super thriller secrets two books in one Ooh, we love a deal but it is the lost girl and can you keep a secret but i remember reading goosebumps as a kid and i was just like so in love with it so we saw it and we were like mm, two books for the price of one we here for it we buying it so we bought it the next book i bought because it was advertised as being the like horror version of Mean Girls and honestly I'm here for it but it is The Dolls by Kiki Sullivan. Literally that was why I bought it because Mean Girls Horror Edition, yes please. The next book I bought because Reagan has talked about this book and how she really liked it so I was like we gonna give it a try but it is The House of Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. I'm pretty sure I have the second book in one of my bags in my room because we going through these bags today and filming a bunch of book hauls. Pretty sure I have that book. It's called The Lord Opium, I'm pretty sure. So we have the first two books. So we gonna read them. Hopefully we gonna love them. Who really knows with me? The next book I picked up because of the author. I read her book, Monstrous Beauty, last year, the year before, and I absolutely loved it. It was about mermaids. This not about mermaids, but same author, so we bought it. It's Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. Don't know anything other than the author's name, but I know that it's sci-fi. And then the next book that I have is called Cruelty by Scott Brightstorm. And I literally bought this 
because I thought the cover was cool. All I know is that it's a thriller. It has a pretty cover. Uh, girl's dad goes missing and she goes on an adventure to try to find him. And there's assassins and spies. That's all I got for you. The next book I bought because it said prostitution on the back, which I was like, Ellen Hopkins, she writes books about prostitution. My mind, it's a weird place, but that was the logic behind it. And then I looked it up on Goodreads and apparently it's really, really highly rated. So we made a good choice, but it is Dime by E.R. Frank. Literally all I know, prostitution ring. There you go, and they're teenagers. Teenage prostitution ring. And then the final book that I have is My True Love Gave to Me. It's an anthology with a bunch of different authors that are super popular. This came out like 2016, I think, and everybody and their mother read it except for this girl, but your girl found it for $2. So she's finally gonna read it probably in December so that we have the Christmassy holiday feelings, you know? All right, guys, so that was my book haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!